Okay, so in today's tutorial, so we want to look at an example of jackknife after bootstrap in R. And we want to basically use this method to estimate the standard error of the correlation statistic by relying on the lost good data set in bootstrap package, right, to basically solve this problem. So how do we do this? Let's quickly jump into R. So first of all, we have to install the package. Install dot package. So bootstrap. Uh, um, because I have this package already installed, I'm just going to comment on it and just load this package by making use of the library function. So I have bootstrap. Right. So I can now um, basically load this package. Run. Alright, so once I load the package, I can now look at the structure of the data set that is the law school data set. So um, let's say structure structure of um, data set. So str law. Alright. So if you run this, we have 15 observations and two variables. The two variables are LSAT and GPA. These are the two scores for the student. I want to find the correlation between these two scores. So um, let's say correlation estimate from the observed sample. Right, I want to basically um, give a name to this estimate. So I'm going to call this theta dot hat and say correlation right we want um we have two variables so the first one is lsat and the second one is um gpa right let me use the name theta dot hat so I, I, i'm going to run these two lines to get the result okay so here we go we have 0 0.7763 um, right which is approximately 0.78 percent as a correlation between these two scores now how do we apply the jackknife after bootstrap um to get the standard error for this correlation statistic let's write a pseudo code so pseudo code for jackknife after bootstrap right so um we are going to use two steps the first step is going to be bootstrapping and the second step is going to be jackknife you are going to apply the jackknife on the bootstrap right so step one is to run the bootstrapping so with the bootstrapping first of all we need a sample size right and we can get a sample size from this data set so n should be equal to n row law this will help us get a sample size then we also need a number of bootstrap replicates right i'm gonna assign this to b capital b right so um we need let's say 1000 bootstrap number or uh, number of bootstrap replicates then we also need a container to store the correlation estimate for each replicate so let's assign this to theta dot b right theta dot b so i'm going to use a numeric function b so this is basically a container to store the estimate for each replication right then the next thing is to save the sample in this is we want to stop set up a storage for this bootstrap uh, um, for the bootstrapping so that we can basically use it for the jackknife so indices um, let me use metrics and um, and a right and number of rows should be equal to 
b number of columns should be equal to n so we want to set up a storage for sample indices right this is basically what you're going to use for the um jackknife so um let me show you something here um this is basically how it's going to look like you are going to for each bootstrap replicate you are going to have 15 ob observation which is based on sample with replacement and it's going to align it in this column so the rules that we set to be is going to have 1000 replications bootstrap replications and also the number of column that we set to and it's basically going to be 15 right so this is how it's going to look like for each bootstrap replicate is going to align these observations in this format and this is basically what you're going to use to um, apply the jackknife on right remember that the jackknife um, does estimate its bias or standard error by um, it just requires only n replication so we have to even write a function to make it work properly so let's go back to R. So we can now then start with a looping, say for index B in um, for index B in one to capital B, that is the number of bootstrap replications. We want to sample with replacement. So sample from one to n size and replace replace true right so sample with replacement right mm, okay oh, let's say resample right because we are going to sample from the sample so resample with replacement right and so what do we want to sample from we want to sample from this variable so i'm going to give a name to the first variable lsat dot p and say law lsat sample or resample with replacement so resample from lsat with replacement right I'm gonna copy this and do same for GPA paste right I'm doing it. I'm gonna change this to GPA dot P then change this to I'm gonna change this to GPA then basically change the name so um, sample from GPA weight replacement right so we are good to go once we have this we have to store right so the next thing is to store the um, correlation store the correlation estimates in theta that's the container that we created in theta.b for each replication so um i'm gonna say theta.b index b we want to store the correlation lsat.b and gpa.b then we also have to save the sample indices for jackknife right that's a container that we have created so let's say save sample indices for jackknife right so i'm gonna say indices for each replicate, I'm gonna save it, so, and we are gonna assign this to sample with replacement, right? Because um, the jackknife only requires n replications to be able to estimate it by us of standard error, so we have to assign it to this and basically write a function to make it work properly, right? So let's run this step, step one. So let's run this together. Right, so if you look at the head of the indices, you will realize that it's similar to what I was trying to show you on the slice. Let's run this. 
so I see we have um, basically this is up this, the head shows the first six observations is basically up to 1000 and the columns is just up to 15 right this is the first nine and we have the continuation to 15 so these are the indices that um, for each replication right that we are going to apply the jackknife on right so let's quickly jump into step two step two is to run the jackknife jackknife on the bootstrap right so um you have to set um let's say a container for the bootstrap okay we have to set a container for the jackknife for the estimate that you're going to get from the jackknife on the bootstrap so i'm going to call this j a b that's it that is jackknife after bootstrap right jab and let's say numeric numeric we have n so this is basically um a container to store the estimate from right the jackknife after bootstrapping right <laughs> so jab so once we have this container which is going to store the estimate for the jackknife after bootstrap we can also start with some looping and say for um sample with replacement don't forget that we have set this indices to this so there's going to be our index for sample with replacement in one to n we want to basically write some function to make in one to n okay we want to write some function to make things work right right so i'm gonna say keep from one to p i'm gonna use the apply function here and say use the indices as my data set then the function um, we are going to we need a margin right so the margin is going to be one we want to work on the rows and write some function say function give it an input k and say any right not any um if case go to sample weight replacement if this condition is satisfied we say we store in this container the standard error of the bootstrap replications for this uh, for the indices that has been selected here so keep right so basically this is the function that we have to write or this is the modification that you have to do in order to um, have the jackknife working on the bootstrapping so i'm gonna run this to um run these lines okay once i have this we can look at the standard error so standard error, we can now compute the standard error compute standard error of the of the jackknife after bootstrap so um this we are going to use the square root right and say sum right sum of squares um jab minus the mean of jab this should be squared i want to divide this by n minus one right so let me see sum squared divided by this okay so we are good to go so we can run this line so you see it's um, pretty low if you compare this to the standard error of the bootstrap you realize that um the jackknife after bootstrap standard errors are always efficient right the standard error is always um, smaller as compared to the other method of um, bootstrapping like the jackknife and the bootstrap 
so let's try the um, the standard error of the jack uh, bootstrapping this is basically um, standard error of bootstrap all right so let's see this you realize that this as compared to um, the jackknife of a bootstrap standard error you can see that um, the jackknife after bootstrapping the standard error is always um, is less as compared to the standard error of the bootstrapping right 